Hi guys, I'm going to become a bartender. Why, you may ask? Because I don't have an answer, but don't question it. Um, this video is inspired by Cody Co. Uh, his uh, Becoming a DJ video has very sparked a, a, a never-ending flame in me. Um, learning how to do an occupation in about, you know, two, three days is phenomenal. So I'm going to learn how to become a bartender in um, six hours or so, even less. Why? Why, you may ask. Um, why? Because, because I want to. But also, I want to make the best fucking cocktails. We're going to make some fucking world-class cocktails today. Alright? So let's just fucking get it started. Um, some backstory. I do not drink alcohol. Oh. Okay. I'm Asian, and I have... Uh, spoiler alert, I'm Asian. I can't... I can't drink alcohol. Um, uh, most Asians, when they drink alcohol, they turn a bright tomato red. And, um, it's very embarrassing. Um, but for me, I'm just intolerant. I can't drink it. I can't drink it at all. When I drink it, I want to pass out. Uh, it's not fun. I feel like I'm dying. But how was your day? Okay. How do you be- how do you learn how to do something? How do you learn how to become something? You go on WikiHow. How to become a bartender. Number one, check the minimum. Can you read? Okay. Number one, check the minimum age to become a bartender in your area. The minimum age to be a bartender varies, but it's usually between 18 and 21. Unfortunately, I do meet re the requirements. Number two, take a bartending course to learn the skills and boost your experience. I don't want to do that. Number three, get a bar kit so you can practice at home. Do you think I'm fucking playing right now? Can you fucking stay in? That's what your mom said last night when I was peanuts. <laughs> Number four, memorize common drink. Number four, memorize common drink recipes. Um, this is gonna be really difficult for me because I cannot remember anything. Number five, Work on your communication and customer service skills. I definitely could do that. Um, I could I could definitely uh, sound like her. Number six. Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay. But I wonder. This is not enough information for me to become a bartender. We're going to have to go on to the most reliable source of information online. Wikipedia. So basically on the Wikipedia page, it's just saying that the four main components for it to make a cocktail, to make a, a world renowning cocktail, actually just the basic cocktail, um, you have to have four main components. The spirit, which is like, what the fuck? Spirit, like, ghost, ass, ingredient, name, um, the acid, the base, and the garnish. So the spirit is actually just distilled alcohol. We're not doing alcohol because I am intolerant. So we're going to have some, I have some sparkling water here. I have some Sprite, and I have some cranberry juice that is basically just all sugar and red food coloring. We have um, the base, which is sweeteners. We have this blue syrup. Why is this here? I don't need this. This is vanilla coffee syrup. I don't think we're using that. <laughs> we got some simple syrup, which is basically just sugar and dissolved in water. And um, I paid $11 for this. So that tells you a lot about capitalism. So the first drink we're gonna make is an old fashioned. An old fashioned, you need a whiskey glass. I bought these glasses on Amazon. I spent a hundred dollars. 
almost over a hundred dollars on all of this shit so you better fucking subscribe i have this whiskey glass yes all, all of the cocktails mocktails recipes will be linked down below in the description um if youtube doesn't decide to remove that too I'm sorry, please get me on onto the algorithm. Okay, so the first drink, you need a whiskey glass, okay? Ooh, and then you need a sugar cube, which is like, who even, who even like uses these? Who even eats sugar anymore? You know what I mean? Like, but you know, it smells like nothing. So, um, grab yourself a sugar cube that has not been, preferably not been in your mouth. You put that in there, and then, um, you put Angostura's bitters in. We are gonna watch, um, 50 Cocktails You Need to Know, just to see the technique he uses to make uh, cocktails. Um, this is, uh, by the Educated Barfly, and I chose him specifically because he looks like Nick from New Girl, and they're both bartenders, so they can do with that with how you want. What? I put the sugar Then we're going to do four dashes of Angostura bitters. Four dashes of Angostura's bitters. Add a little dash of soda and just give it a little muddle. And we're yeah, we're going to put four of those in there. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Next thing we're going to do. Okay, my friend is calling me, but I am I am at work right now. I'm going to use this. This is, um, what's it called? A jigger. I did my studying. We're just gonna put a little bit in there. Oh, that's too much. Just, I haven't drank water all day. <laughs> okay, just like a real bartender. All right, and we're gonna muddle it. Just muddling it. I muddled it. I, mu I muddled that bitch. I muddled that bitch up. Put a muddle on her. I didn't have barley tea, so we're gonna use this beautiful chai brewed tea i brewed this morning with a tea bag and hot water should i be putting this in it's liquid and that's wood no bar spoon this is just a giant twisty spoon um and then he like lift the ice to stir it up but i'm just gonna do that because this is not a giant ice cube. That's a lemon twist, yeah? Uh, or that's that's an orange. And then he puts it in there. And for this one too. Yeah, and then he puts a little cherry. Oh. The secret? More than just what? my armpit stink. Facts. That's why I use secret holes. Facts. My little, take a little bar spoon. Oh my god, this is becoming a bartending tutorial video now. And you, and you just drop it in there with a little bit of the juice. And then, um, do you mix it? No. There you go. That's the freaking, that's the freaking, um, uh, old fashioned. Not me forgetting the name. We're gonna taste it. Tastes like an orange peel. Delicious. <laughs> um, the next recipe I'm using here is save by Savor the Flavor Blue Lagoon Mocktail. You just put syrup, you put ice, syrup, and then Sprite. So we're gonna just take, oh my God, why did I take the ice like that? I forgot I have these. How much lemon should I do? Okay, two tablespoons. So I'm guessing that's just a lemon. That's half a lemon. That's my guess. 
Okay, it's going all over the table. Then you put the ice. I already put the ice in, so that's perfect. Pour the blue cure cow syrup. We got this cure cow syrup. I couldn't find this anywhere in Canada. I had to order it on Amazon, and the shipping was like twenty dollars, and so I had to like purchase something else with it. So I, I purchased um, I purchased a uh, simple syrup with it, and then there was free shipping. So there's a life hack for you. I didn't know this was fucking five minute life hacks. What the fuck? Um, and we're gonna use one of these things. I don't know what they are. Base, uh, they're. There's like syringes. So I guess. I'm guessing you could just like fucking pop one of these on there. And it like. Yeah. Oh my god. You guys. Fuck. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Because I feel like that's what bartenders do, anyways. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Look at that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Maybe a little more. You guys see this shit? You see that? <laughs> That's like the most like unsteady flow I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god, are you just gonna die? So oh, beautiful! Look at that! Oh my god, I'm not even like joking. Oh my god, it looks like the freaking ocean. Oh my god. Okay, I guess... Should I mix it up? I feel like I shouldn't mix it up, because it's so pretty. Yeah, let's not mix it up. I'm just gonna cut... I think I'll just do like half a lemon. Slice. Definitely leave, leave the sticker on there. Just for, um, like, personality... reasons. Oh god. And then, um, cut a fucking slice in there. Okay, so my camera died, which it loves doing. So, yeah. This little bitch-ass camera. I swear to fucking God. I feel like Little Tay right now. So, my camera died, but we're not gonna let- We're not- The show is not- The show must go on. And so, yeah, I did that. Also, I put a straw in it just now. Like, how pretty that is. That is so good. Okay, the syrup is definitely... <coughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the syrup is definitely, like, all in the bottom. No, oh, that's very sweet. That's so sweet. Another maraschino cherry because it fell at the bottom. How dare it. All right, next drink. <laughs> Oh my god, that blue girl cow syrup went all the way back in my throat. Okay, so the next drink we're doing is the Cosmopolitan. Alright, so you need a martini glass. A beautiful martini glass. Doing my bartender things. How was your night? Okay, so we're gonna make a Cosmopolitan. Basically, a Cosmopolitan has cranberry juice and then vodka, and the vodka makes the cranberry juice pink. So this might just be super fucking red. It might, it's basically just cranberry juice in a cup, but we're gonna do it anyways, because I've always wanted to have a Cosmopolitan. We're gonna use the shaker for this one, you guys. This is the Boston shaker. This is what you use to shake your drinks in. It's just iconic. It's so fucking nice. You're so iconic, queen. Oh my god. But, um, uh, you go. You're so iconic, queen. You can go. You can do this, girly. That's me putting the spirits in. 90 milliliters of cranberry juice. I don't know how much that is. I don't know. I don't have a measuring cup. I think I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna wing it. Yeah. 90 milliliters, that's like... How much is that? 90 milliliters. Um, a cup is 250, so 90 would be, let's say 90 is 100. So it'd be, it'd be like three fourths cup. No, it'd be less than a half. So it, it would be, um, AX squared plus BX squared equals less than a half. <laughs> I'm just gonna do half a lime for 30 milliliters. Okay, this is what bartenders do. We're making magic here. I'm just gonna fucking wing it, bro. 
30 milliliters of orange juice. Um, I guess I'll just... Would you say, that you guys, is this 30 milliliters of orange juice? I'm just gonna, okay. 30 milliliters, how much is that even? The fuck? I think I was supposed to do this beforehand. Um, yeah. Like, I, I, I feel like people would like, wait, can you see it? Okay. Oh my God, I did that. I put it in the shaker, put the top on. How do I do this? Oh my God, what did I do wrong? Why did it do that? I'm pretty sure you could take the top off. I'm scared. I can't, it's too slippery. Fuck. Put the only freaking towel I have on the floor because the cranberry juice went all over the fucking floor. Okay. Yes. That's gorgeous. Move out of the way, the star is shining today. Ooh, that's actually pink. I think it's because it's diluted by um, my delusions. Very good. It's very good. Sounds like somebody peeing. We can put a little um we could put a little lemon twist on or what's it called? Um an orange twist. So I've seen people do this. They just they make the orange twist again. But I'm gonna actually twist it this time. Oh. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. That's too thin now. I didn't realize that because I have to twist. I actually have to twist it this time. This is a mess. I, sh I should have probably made twists beforehand. Is this doing something? This is doing something. Okay. With this, what you do, you twist it. Obviously. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Oh my god, I almost poured it everywhere. What? Why is it not twisting? I want a better orange twist though. Next drink. We're doing we're doing the mojito. Mojito. So this one's just lime leaves and Sprite. I'm pretty sure. Um, I thought I had a towel. I do not. This is, it's the table soaking wet. To make a mojito, we're going to use the whiskey glass. So 10 mint, mint leaves. It's a lot of fucking mint. Oh my fucking God. We're going to wash the mint leaves because we're not barbarians here. That's a lime wedge. We're going to take the muddler. I guess we're just... Okay. Two more lime wedges. That's a lot of fucking lime. Oh my god. Two tablespoons of granulated sugar. I don't have sugar here. It's upstairs. So I'm going to take two sugar cubes. Put some sparkling water in there. See, this is all intuitive. It, it didn't even tell me to add club soda, but because I'm using sugar cubes, I want to put club soda in there. Um, fill the top with ice. I could do that. I love doing that. I don't have time for this. <laughs> oh my god. And then we're gonna put some sparkling water, the like club soda, in there. There we go. She's gorgeous. 
If my bitch ass camera didn't die, I would use my phone to get you a close up shot. But alas, my camera is a little bitch ass camera. I don't think I'm talking to the camera. I think just put mint leaves on top and just fucking call it a day. So I'm just gonna put some freshly washed mint leaves on the sides and top and whatever, whatnot. And um, um, maybe like a, like a lime slice on the side. Oh, and she's gorgeous. That's a mojito. That's actually really good. Oh my god. That is delicious. That's what that's what that's like my favorite right now. Oh my god. That one's that one's my favorite order order. I'm gonna make one more drink. We're gonna make the sour whiskey. This one is a little more complicated because it has an egg white in it. You're like, ew, egg white. And I'm like, yes. Ew, indeed. But uh, alas, I'm still gonna make it. So how was your day? Like, how was, how was your day? How are you? How are you, ma'am? How was your day? You're watching YouTube videos alone? Yeah, figured. Yeah, you have a Valentine's Day date in February, no? Ooh, it's okay, it's okay. Salmonelli. Salmonelli in my tummy. I'm using the same tea as I was using before because I ain't doing all that. Just one fourth a teaspoon. Okay, that's good enough. Basically, cocktails are just like spiced, beautiful drinks that have poison in them. <laughs> basically, basically. Guys, this came in a set. I bought this and a fucking set of like beautiful, like um rigid like cups and my mom washed them and broke all of them and i got that for her my, her birthday present and she, she broke all of them <laughs> and it, the set was like a hundred dollars we're gonna put in the jigger just like yeah squeeze it all over your counter because that is the key to great bartending that amazing then we're putting some simple syrup that is thick. Oh my god. Put some simple syrup in there. I I feel so cool doing that, you guys. I should have done like egg. Okay. And then we're gonna do a dry shake. We're gonna put the top on. I hope this doesn't explode on me. You almost got me this time. It's so frothy. And then we're, he puts a huge ass, giant ass ice cube in there. But again, we don't have that. We're not, we're not, we're not as, I'm sorry. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Is that enough ice? More. Why did it explode? I'm scared. It keeps exploding. <sighs> I'm scared. Okay. Oh my god, my fucking hands are freezing. God. That is emulsified. Alright. Hope this looks good. Oh my god, do you guys see that emulsification? We're gonna put the tea in, which is supposed to be the whiskey, hence sour whiskey. If you didn't know then where you got the name. Okay, whatever. She's so pretty! Oh my god. He put some uh Angostura's bitters. Oh my god, the drop is like dissolving the foam. It's so pretty. I have not used a Hawthorne strainer once, and I'm pretty sure some people use this for the 
the whiskey sour, but I don't know how to use it, so we're not gonna use it. <laughs> to apply everything I learned here and make my own drink, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go at it. So because I like the shaker, I'm gonna use this. I think I'll do sparkling water because that's my favorite spirit that we have here. I like it when they put uh, ice in it in the. I like it when they put the ice in the uh, Boston shaker. I think that's um, that's just cool. I'm making a gin and tonic and it's just sparkling water and ice cubes. Um, you know what? We put some freaking blue curacao syrup in. Um, just like a, just like um, I would say uh, an ounce there. Um, um, okay, so we have this tall glass. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna muddle the, um, I'm gonna use the technique um, we used for the old fashioned because I like, I like muddling shit. And we're gonna put that in. We're gonna put, again, ang Angostura's bitters. We ha what we have in here is sparkling water, to recap. Sparkling water, um, ice, blue cure cows, um, syrup, and then coffee syrup. Because I think the coffee, the coffee syrup is the it is the base, and the cure cow is also the base. We have an extra lime here, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna squeeze it in there. It's gonna really go well and pair match so well with the sparkling water. And it, it exploded. And then we're gonna just pour it out there. It just looks like the blue lagoon. I'm gonna put some fucking cranberry juice because I want to be different. I call this satin drink. You have to add the cranberry juice after so you have the blue foam on top. That is my number one rule for this drink. And we're gonna put a maraschino cherry on because we are classy. And it just dropped right to the bottom. That's amazing. And there you go. There you go. That's what I made. Cheers. I mean, it's not good, but it's not bad. So there you have it. Those are the the five signature drink. Those are the five um, staple drinks and my drink. Thank you for watching. Um, I, I think we learned a lot today. We learned that um, making drinks is fun <coughs> and staying sober is funner. <coughs> So thank you. Thank you for your service. You're welcome.